People of God, people of Yahweh, do not settle. You trust in Jehovah Jireh. He's your provider. Don't settle. Don't settle. Don't settle. And last week, our Let's Have a Conversation session, and this is being done every Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern, we discuss counterfeits, okay? And this message isn't so much about a counterfeit, but I had mentioned an experience I had where um, I was looking for a place, and I thought that this may have been the place, but there were so many deal breakers, um, so many things that weren't good. And I was just so happy to have my daughter there with me. And she's like, you know, this is not, this is not what God would do. And so happy we had ended up waiting and God showed up and showed out. So do not settle. This message today is about you making sure that you know what you ask God for. And it is true. We have been in seasons where we have had trials, okay? Where we have had to be in a posture of serving because God wants us to understand we need to serve others. We need to be humble, okay? And so in that season, perhaps that wilderness where you didn't have a lot of things that you normally would, even basic things, okay? Even basic things. When God pulls you out of that wilderness because you have graduated and you have learned what you had to learn and you are now at a new spiritual level and you've grown, sometimes it's easy for that mind, that the way your mind was, you're still there. So you're still there in a striving state when God has now put you in a thriving state. So because you've done so much striving, and don't forget Isaiah 61, 7 says, you will have double for every trouble. So you're going to have double for those troubles. We all go through sufferings in the body of Christ, as the Apostle Paul said. We will all have sufferings, but don't don't um, get stuck in your, your the, the mindset you had where you were struggling, okay? Um, I'm not saying to be unwise, but I'm saying to you, in what you request of the Father... Um, don't compromise, okay? If it is that you move to a place, this is an example. And some of the things that you have, it's outdated and it came with the place. Do not be afraid to reach out to the landlord, for example, and say, okay, these are old and outdated. Don't use them. Let the landlord know whether it's a he or she and watch God work in the situation and you get brand new stuff. Besides, that's a testimony that happened with me as well, right? So I want you to know whether it's that or something else, right? Because whoever this message is for, when you saw Don't Compromise on the title, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It could be a job. It could be, I heard spouse, right? A relationship. There are some things with this person that although it's okay and you can love each other and all that stuff, this is not the one God has for you. But if you compromise, that's what it will be, okay? Because when I look at the walk we have with God, many times I said, wow, God, I thank you so much for the encouragement. I thank you for not making certain decisions because at some point in our lives, I'm sure we all compromise, okay? But going forward, going forward, you may not see how it can be done, but know who you serve. You serve a loving father, okay? You serve a loving father. So if it's a case where you're thinking, I shouldn't ask for this because it would be too much, that's not the way to think. That's thinking too small. Ask for it. Give it to God and allow him to work with you and nurture you in that situation and provide this thing. It might be an immediate provision that you get that he gives it to you. And then he could say, okay, but I need you to go through this process, whatever it is for that thing that you're asking for. It could be anything, okay? If it is something big and you wanna own mansions and buildings and real estate and property, he's gonna have to show you how to manage, okay? Not just finances, but take care of things. So yes, he's not just gonna dump it in your hand. He has to take you through training so that you can handle it properly and you don't waste it, right? So, <clears throat> Be encouraged. Don't compromise. Don't compromise. Don't compromise. Don't compromise. It's not worth it. In the smallest things, all the way up to the biggest things, don't compromise. Now, I'm not saying don't give grace because I don't want you to get it confused. And when I say give grace, 
if someone is working with you, and when I say working with you, they've been very accommodating and they're unable to do something like truly unable. And you're like, I want it now and now. No, don't do that because our father is also merciful. You still put your request. You still let your request be known, but you honor that person with mercy and you let God do the rest. Okay. So whoever that's for, be encouraged, be encouraged, be encouraged. Okay, y'all. And have a beautiful rest of your day.